Hello everybody, my name is Gatem and welcome back for another video of Suzerain. We're gonna continue this series, boys. In the last video, a lot happened. We went to the inauguration ball with a couple of our friends, our da daughter, son, and uh, our wife, basically, for uh, basically the inauguration ball for our presidency and stuff. But it ended up going horrible because somebody got shot during it. We thought it was an assassination attempt on us, but it turned out to be just someone another mp getting killed or something and now i'm probably gonna get uh blamed for this whole thing so i don't know what's gonna happen i'm very excited though i've got one of personal wealth and two of government budget maybe we can up that up eventually but right now we our economy is doing all right it could be doing better though so let's go right into it we don't really have anything we are working on a highway project to go through uh Lachevin all the way through avery so passing langberg it's a big highway project right there. It's going to help out with the population. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Emergency meeting. Yeah, we're in the uh, we're still in the bunker, by the way. Let's see what's going to happen here. The moon in the situation room was gloomy. My cabinet members was uh, were gathered to discuss the shooting outside the palace. Lydas presented the initial report. Bernard Segers was shot at 9 uh, 9.03 p.m. in front of the palace gates. He was an elected independent member of assembly and as you know a famous communist well he's on my side then i mean if he's a communist uh she's spat the last word out with some distaste uh distaste all right so i guess she doesn't like communists interesting i really don't like this girl, this woman uh, the guards at the scene were filthy me uh, 50 meters away and immediately took action by responding and kill the, uh, killing the assailant was identified, identified as a member of the nationalist organization Young Swords. Okay, I got you. Uh, the president and his family were unarmed, praise God. Alright, so an MP shot near the palace. This is absolutely unacceptable. What were the motivations of such a horrid act? But why Bernard Circus? So I wasn't the target. Yeah, why wasn't I the target? Fortunately, yes, you were simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. Our security forces have no reason to believe anybody has motivations to act against the president of Sordland for now. Okay, all right. I guess we're good. We're cool then. Our investigators are suspecting a political assassination since the young sword has been have been threatening the communists for some time. This sets the, a dangerous atmosphere where the the left versus right political violence of the twenties might spark once again a return of those days would be devastating the coups are the reason why our country stagnated for for a decade the minister of justice cited exactly the red youth has condemned the killing but did not stop there they promised revenge so this is the girl talking okay so minister of justice this will in turn spark, for, spark further aggression for the young swords. The whole cycle started because Bernard Sikus expressed his, his views. We can't simply look away. Uh, Nia had always been one of the only members of the Justice Ministry truly deserving of the name. She had survived countless attacks on her character while fighting corruption within the ministry. And rising to power had only compounded her sense of moral duty. Alright, so she seems like a, a really good person. Freedom of expression is part of our constitution. We can't have anyone, let alone an MP, shot uh, for voicing different opinions. Well, I fully agree. We should protect freedom of speech. The Malinvich ideology that the Red Youth promotes poses threat to our country too. We should be cautious. The National Lyon Sword that voted a step and they should be put under the loop. I, I just gotta say that I fully agree. I'm not gonna put under the loop anybody. I'm, I'm gonna go a little bit neutral here. I'm just gonna try and calm the situation down. We need this whole thing to be calmed down as much as possible. So everybody needs to have the freedom of speech for sure. Silencing voices only result in fear and stagnation inside society. Okay, we had that before and know very well how it, how it was. I hear your concerns. Our police do their best to uphold the rights of our citizens. We will prevent such an act from happening again by making sure our security measures are reevaluated. Yeah, will you do that? Minister of Defense, Iosef Lynchia, which I think is uh, this guy, yep. 
He uh, towered over the rest of us in full military uniform. Uh, his many war medals conspicuously on display. I agree, ma'am. Our uh, gendarmerie will also help boost security in their rural areas where possible. There might be more to come. Uh, we should refrain from making the issue a political one from the start. It would only add fuel to the fire. I agree with that. I do agree. Uh, it is, a pol is it political, though? Uh, you are right. We need to c uh, calm the situation. It's early, but we c can we attend the funeral? I think it we need to calm the situation for sure. All right, so our government is capable to maintain security. Our job will be to reduce tensions. Several police cars rushed past the Maroon Palace, and everyone went silent. Regardless, a full investigation on all the involved parties is on the way. We will find the sub uh, subversives and punish them soon enough, Mr. President. All right, so I will do my best to help coordinate the administrative uh, tasks. Justice will be served, and the rule of law will not return. Uh, will return to this country strong, stronger than ever. On, uh, only if we stay village as a vigilant as a country, we must think about the upcoming budget. Exactly, I do have a budget to respect here. It's too soon to jump to conclusions. Restless ass will have dire uh, con uh, consequences. Exactly. Eternal stability must be maintained. Our security funding might not be. Uh, might need to be increased. Security funding, huh? Well, that's budget though. If we do that, it's gonna decrease our budget. I I don't know about that. We should not lose our sight of real political goals like the constitutional reforms. Exactly. Agreed. These matters shouldn't distract us from what the people want us to do. Exactly. We're already working on something. We're not gonna get sidetracked just because someone gets as murdered by another person. Uh, Lucian took some notes after checking the latest newspaper and reports. It seems that the tensions between the communists and nationalists will escalate, escalate further. It will be difficult to pass any meaningful change if there is chaos in the country. We can't pass any constitutional reform in such an atmosphere. We can't fix the recession if there is instability. We'll make it through this and deliver our promises. Yeah, we will deliver our promises. If we want to get re-elected in the first place, we gotta deliver our promises, right? So let's deliver our promises and then worry about stability. All right, let's do that. Uh, hell yes, President Rain. There we go. This will be uh, it for today then. We will convene again soon. Thank you all and keep us updated. It was hard to anticipate what would happen next. All right, so all are all concerned kind of, but you know, it's important for me to really do that constitu constitutional reform. It's uh, very important to for me to work on that. Yes, we need stability because of that whole thing, but we can't worry too much about it. So, uh, newspapers, murder at the palace. We already know all about that. Uh, Codex. So uh, we got an assembly and stuff like that. Bernard Sickers, he's dead now. All right, so let's continue. I think we're about to protect uh, proceed the next turn. So turn two, boys, let's go into it. Few days later, let's see what's gonna happen here. Man, this, the whole city, this city is probably gonna crumble into pieces. We don't have any stability, but I'm gonna try my best, boys. Turn two, let's see what's gonna happen here. Uh, in the second turn, we've got a couple of things to do, like always. Uh, a couple of reports. Reports here and there. Police uh, understaffed for uh, Nurbel. We've got over here in Azarain. Illegal K-75Cs, so illegal arms, okay. We've got uh, Young Sword's youth wing leader dead after terror attack. Alright, so we've got some terror attacks here. We've got something from them. Read the report from Willen. Some warned traitors. Willen, okay, what is this? The latest diplomatic message from the leader of Willen warned us regarding our pathway to the mountains of Borgia that allowed traitors of the state escaping uh, to Swordland. President Victor Solma, uh, Smolak has amended that the border security to be increased. He also sent his best wishes about ending the, the protests. Okay, all right. They don't seem too happy about the whole situation right here. We're going to try our best to make them happier, though. Uh, we're definitely going to try our best. So I think the green thing right here, I think uh, the green... Uh, when it's a green border, I think that just means probably that they're happy with us, I guess. If it's a red thing, they're kind of unhappy. I, I gotta work on uh, on these guys then, if that's the case. 
Uh, we still we do have something over there in Estorn. Police overburden in Estorn, so a lot of like pol under understaffed police right here. Uh, read the report from Agnola. Horton critiques trade. So the leader of Agnola has diplomatically critiqued the imbalance of trade between our countries. Concerns were raised of how much more Southern profits would uh, from the net trade in comparison to Agnola. The Prime Minister requests a fair re-evaluation of existing treaties and future negotiations. Okay, so it doesn't seem like they really want to trade with us that much anymore. Because it, we, we're starting to sound kind of weak. The economy is kind of dropping a little bit. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, what about this? A report from Rivery. Illegal firearms found in the Communist Party's office. Damn it. What about this? Weapons seized in cultural center. A lot of uh, stuff, the same, same old, same old kind of. Uh, and we got one last thing, report. Communist party leaders su uh, suspected of a bomb attack. For Christ's sake, those communists are becoming a problem, boys, I swear. All right, well, uh, we got a bunch of news. Swordish politician, well, politician uh, shot dead. United, unity despite differences. So Sordana has two paths to the future. And this year is critical to decide which path we embark M2 upon. So this is probably the second year every turn is a, uh, is a new year, I guess. Um, the lack of stability and security caused by the death of Bernard is an acceptable reality. We need more jobs in a safe atmosphere if our country is supposed to grow and prosper. Okay. Well, we all, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Alright. Radical, farewell Bernard. The only way out of recession. Bailing out businesses. Well, we'll see about that. All right, so old sports, we got a report right here. So reports of BFF activity in the capital. The chief of police reports that two bloodish women with affiliation to the bloodish Freedom Front have been caught in old sports before they could execute a terror attack at a crowded rally. Both, both women are listed, listed as a wanted criminals and enemies of the state. Okay, that's not good. All right, well, let's see what we can do here, boys. Dinner with the family. Or security briefing on the threats against Swordland. How about we do the security briefing first? I think it's the, definitely the most important thing right now. So we gotta worry about that for sure. Let's do the security briefing first, boys. Before doing the dinner thing. I arrived in front of the doors leading to the situation room. Today's security briefing was arranged in two parts. Starting the, with internal matters and moving on to the external matters after a short break. I don't think we're in trouble external-wise. Uh, we do have to worry about our our um, neighbors in the west but i think we should be all right uh, the minister of interior lilas graf and the minister of justice and law nia uh, morgna will join us for the first part to uh, the law enforcing uh, enforcement briefing for the second part the minister of defense and the uh, high chief of the armed forces are going to join me all right so i opened the door uh, all these two, these three are there so minister of interior and the uh, justice are there boys all right sir Let's begin. Uh, please take your seats. There we go. Everyone in the room sat down ex except for Lucian. He put on his glasses and went through the documents in front of him. Shortly after, he raised his head to address the attendees. Mr. President, ladies, we will kick off today's meeting with internal security briefing. I am assuming everyone has already been over the agenda. We all have busy schedules, so without further ado, I will jump into our first topic. As we fear, the political atmosphere has worsened. The reports around the country indicate that the tensions are rising as we feared. What is the status of a uh, secret investigation? I have received news that this morning, this morning that the investigation into the murder of Bernard has concluded. Uh, great news, I'm eager to hear about the details. Please enlighten us. The more we know, the better. After further investigation and testimonies, we have confirmed the motive and also the events leading up to the shooting. A few days prior, members of the Red Youth initiated a violent attack on a Young Swords local leader in Gen. We believe the Young Swords then called for revenge leading to the death of Mr. Uh, Cir uh, Circus. Okay, I got, I got you. It's, it's, like a, it's like a mob thing right now. We have the mob on, our, uh, on the city. That is not good. Uh, since he is often again uh, often spoke against the young swords and nationalist sentiment in the assembly, he was a big target. Not to mention his radical communist views. Political violence needs to stop. 
He had it coming, uh, ready, cool. Uh, sword and just lost a great writer for what? Well, political violence needs to stop. I'm just gonna say that. We kept it at bay for long, it, but it seems that there are no new triggers. Lila's ended over a report and pointed at a highlighted section in the document. The investigation revealed a very troubling fact. The founding sources of the Red Youth have a, have a clear link to the United Cantana. What is that? That's the, uh, that's gotta be another country. Federalist Socialist Republic. All right, I got you. Uh, what does that mean? Are you sure? This is, uh, they're mending in our affairs right now. I don't like that. Several Red Youth uh, members with, uh, uh, with ties to the United Cantana have been detained. And the information extracted from their points to, uh, to a preparation for communist uprising in Sorland. These sons of bitches, I swear. It is unusual for the superpowers to influence other nations, but I think this case is a little far-fetched. The left lacks popular support in Sorland. Yes, they do lack popular support. So I don't think it would work. I, I doubt it would even work. So why would they, why would the, uh, the Cantana whatever, uh, why would that country even bother helping the, the left right now? Uh, Nia eagerly lifted her hand and motioned for her to speak. I wanted to, uh, over, I went over to report, uh, in detail. It would be wrong to jump to the conclusions about a clear foreign interference yet. The United Cantana has humanitarian and cultural ties with many countries, including Sorland. I trust Miss Graf's judgment. United Kingdom is clearly trying to expand its influence. I also don't want to jump to conclusions immediately. We shouldn't uh, create a crisis with them. I will not allow that. I will not ever allow anybody to influence our country. All right, this is almost an act of war right here. They gotta be careful. Let's not, they, uh, we gotta be, we gotta be worried about, uh, worrisome about them. This is very worrisome. Mr. Rain, we have done our due diligence and the founding operatives and strategy all uh, point to a coup plot. She took a sip from her glass of water and continued. Our police chief, Carl Greaser, has linked the founding channel to United Cantana Cons Consulate in Beef uh, Benfi. As we all know, the enemies of Sornan are many. We also have threats inside the city. Uh, the country. We need to remain vigilant as the government. We have all the power to deal with any threat. I don't know about that. Our country we always had issues. This is part of our job. It's just part of the job. If we give up essential freedoms to purchase temporary security, we deserve neither freedoms nor security. That's wise. That's a wise thing to say. Uh, this is debatable, but yes, we know what uh, more security and surveillance caused to this country under President Sorrell. Let's not forget that President Sol, God bless him, brought stability after a long period of bloodshed and chaos. But moving on, our highest internal threats come from the estimated 20,000 strong bloodish freedom front led by imprisoned uh, Dwellen Arch. They are, a, they are a banned political organization, now a militant force that is trying to incite racial violence. I will not allow that to happen in my country, that's for sure, boys. They make, they, uh, they make a lot of noise, but have little substance. A barking dog doesn't bite. I doubt that. That doesn't make sense. Are they supported by bloodish uh, citizens? By our bloodish citizens? Are they corroborating with any poli uh, bloodish uh, political organization? Uh, are they supported by the citizens? That's all I care about. Uh, to some extent, luckily they, they couldn't attract a wide audience of blood, but they could potentially attract thousands if anti-bloodish uh, sentiment spreads in Sordon again. Uh, Linus pointed to the, uh, the page 3 in the report. Our intelligence intercepted two crates filled with weapons close to the Rumborg border. They were filled with military grade uh, cave semi fire uh, force. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, we expected that, uh, we expected that more of that have been smuggled in some uh, in, in since a group of bloods were caught with these guns at the checkpoint not far away. Uh, Rembert has been acting aggressively in the region for a long time. I am not surprised that they would attempt to womanize the blush, bloodish people against us. This is worrying, very worrying. All right, so can we uh, can we make any direct cor uh, correlations to blame Rumberg? Uh, it was expected that Rumberg would undermine us, but this is too far. Uh, we need to keep uh, level-headed with uh, Rumper. They are looking for reasons to take action. We can't let anyone meddle with internal stability. 
Yes, exactly. We cannot let anyone meddle with our internal stability. I'm willing to do anything. I'm gonna crush these sons of a bit, these sons of bitches, if they want to chill with me. All right, I'm not gonna allow them to uh, to do that to my country. Our security services are doing these best, uh, their best to prevent further attempts. This is grave news. We must be careful not to stoke the fires of anti-bloodish sentiments. What is the second most important threat? It is the gang violence that is threatening the Nargis and England regions. Two prominent uh, organized crime families are at war and the potential for bloodshed is real. Uh, which two crime families? Why can't we just arrest them? Exactly. The primary reason is deception and corruption. They infiltrated several government offices and the police. Of course. That's how they can evade us. They are playing with fire. I want them gone for good. Maybe not, boys. Because the mob can do can help me with the internal stability for now. You know, I know I'm gonna be corrupt and stuff. I kinda need the mob to exist. You need the mob to exist because you need someone with the money and the, the influence the influence to help you. To be able to help you uh, with these things, you know? Sure they were gonna want more powers along the way, but after that I can get rid of them. Right now I kinda need them though. Uh, there is insignificant, not worth our attention. Lilas, I trust that you can handle them. I don't know if Lilas can really handle them, to be honest. I think they are playing with fire. I want them gone. I kind of want to... I, I want them gone. If I can't recruit them, I just want to get rid of them. While I agree we would, uh, it would make Sword in a better place, it would not be, be easy. These gangs exist because of corruption. It's so common in our country. They buy our police officers and slip by checkpoints. Uh, lead us decided deeply. I shall be honest with you. With our current capability, capabilities, we may not be able to prevent the further uh, uh, arming of separatists while maintaining our order in Bergia, Nigeria, and India. If the law enforcement budget is, isn't increased, I can't, I can't be fully responsible for what happens. Our police units are spread thin, uh, thin as it is. Uh, yeah. In light of this, I might, uh, I might increase the law enfor enforcement budget. Well, that's going to decrease it to one, though. I don't have a lot of budget, but I think law enforcement budget is very important, boys. I think you definitely want that to be high up there. Uh, you will do the job, whatever happens. Don't come to me with excuses. Uh, no, I I I'll use the budget. I'll do it. I'll do it. We will rid our country from separatists and violent talks if you do so. Exactly. That that's what I want. That's what I want, boys. I want to get rid of those problems straight away. Get rid of the budget. The budget can get that, uh, get out of here if uh, we don't really need it. We got plenty. We're, do we're doing all right for the budget. I wish you would stop using the word thugs, Li Lilas. The real problem is corruption, which is fueling the gang violence. is very likely to be re the reason why these weapons were smuggled in. A higher budget could help us end that. That is true. We could have a higher budget. But, you know, I don't know. Valid points. Corruption is the root of all... Of evil, evil after all. Your ministry must tackle the issue with persistence, Mr. Morgna. Uh, these threats seem to uh, more direct than a few for, uh, few bribes. Yeah, it seems a little bit more bi direct. Uh, they are, and they need all the attention they can get from our administration. All right, so we're openly scolding at each other. Let us turn back to our notes. Uh, well, this concludes the topics for the internal portion. Thank you for the updates. Thank you, for everyone. Have a good day. Until next time. The two ministers are leaving. I think I'm gonna end up doing uh, what Linus wanted me to do. It's either I move up the budget by one, probably, and with that I guess we start getting rid of the corruption. But I don't care about the corruption so much as just getting rid straight away, just getting more law enforcement so we can get rid of the separatists first. Then we'll deal with the goddamn, the whole crime families and stuff. That's not a solution. That's not a problem right now. They don't. They're not dealing, dealing a problem to me. They're just dealing a problem to themselves. So I don't care too much. Alright, so upon invitation, the other two other ones are uh, are here. So Isaac made his way towards the table with the others, uh, while the others stood by the door. Mr. President, there we go. My Minister of Defense, boys, and the Chief of, uh, of the Armed Forces. So there's the army right here. External defenses, boys. Let's begin. Uh, Isaac, welcome. There we go. I brought General Kruger with me due to the escalations on our borders. General Kruger stepped forward and saluted. 
He had a strong jaw with sharp cheekbones. His tall stature, uniform medals, combined with his deep and intense stare, made him look threatening. Uh, he was in his 70s, yet he had a bulky body that was a result of his commando training. Not only was he the second most decorated officer in Sodan, he was also the longer serving. Well, good for him, I guess. Uh, shake his hand, salute him. I'm gonna salute him. There we go. He smiled at, at the jester and bowed his head in respect. There we go. Uh, I gotta respect the man, boys. He did so well for our country. Hazel chap tapped his foot imp uh, impatiently. Uh, he seemed uneasy with the presence of another high-ranking officer in the room. All right, so, uh, gentlemen, thanks for coming in, uh, to the uh, significant gathering. Let's begin. Uh, Isis and Vulcan took their seats at the table with the rest of the officers stood by the door. All right, so, Mr. President, the situation at the western and northern borders towards Romberg uh, is very tense. We are observing deployments of divisions Divisions closer to our border. What? They're mobilizing? Rumberg has been acting increasingly expansionist in the past decades and also interfered in Agnola, but now they have turned their sights on us. Wait. So they went against Agnola? And now they're going after. Okay. That's not. Okay. Well, that's not good. I trust the capability of our armed forces to handle our interests. Uh, this concerns me very much. What is our current strategy? Uh, patrolling close to the borders with our border force and keeping army reserve uh, division uh, near. Uh, it seems like they want to increase the pressure both externally and internally. Mr. President, if I may, please, General, uh, go on. The picture is becoming clearer. The latest information from the interior about the weapons caches and now there is an active military buildup close to our borders. The entire situation was analyzed by our general staff and our prediction is a future territorial incursion by Rumberg. So a future, uh, future invasion, po a possible invasion fr uh, from them. Interesting. Uh, I, have completed tr I have complete trust in the general staff. The trust uh, is a majority. It's not. Let them come. We will give them hell. No, I have complete trust in the general staff uh, for sure. We will not let you down, Mr. President. The general staff is composed of the smartest military individuals. I know that. That's why I'm trusting you. I require an increase in the military budget to enlist more soldiers. Only then we can stand strong against our enemies. The enlarged armed forces will hold them at bay. The Vulcan is right. We do need an increase in the military budget. But although we don't see high to eye on exactly how to spend the budget, that much we agree on. I have my concerns about Romberg too. We need strong allies to withstand such a superior power. They are our nemesis. That is an understatement. Times are, ch are changing and war is coming, Mr. President. Whether we like it or not, we must be prepared. During the election, you said nothing about focusing on our military. I ask you to reconsider and to increase the military budget. The future and safety of Sorland is in your hands. I am a man of my word, Yosef. Yes, I am a man of my word. If I don't make any promises about the military budget, that means I'm not, I like, I'm, it's not in my priorities. Uh, now, we do, if we have a war coming, I might change my mind. But I, I still don't know, man. I still feel like the internal thing is much better. It's much more important than external threats. Maybe you're right. Defenses are, of our nation is more important. As you said, time changes, Isaf. You, We will see. Yes, exactly. We will see. Uh, a smile brought a glimmer of hope in Yosef's face. Our force, I, like I can't promise anything, but if it come, ever comes to it, if I if I have enough budget, I'll do it. But it's not in my main focuses. Uh, our forces would crumble under a decrease in. Rumberg would be much more compelled to exploit and wear our weakness. Our country hasn't fallen to any invading force for 200 years. You cannot let it happen, Mr. President. We should find regional allies like uh, Valchant and Lesbia to deter Rimbor Rumberg. There are several options on the table. Uh, Rumberg wouldn't attack any ancient uh, ally with any superpower. Well, uh, certain must stand on its own and uh, two feet and be able to defend itself. Those options should be considered. Okay, so these options can, should be considered. I'm gonna say we should be able to defend ourselves. We don't need help from anybody else. If we are able to defend ourselves properly, nobody else is going to try and attack us, mess with us. We need to be the superpower, boys. Uh, of the same mind, sir. 
We stand strong as we always done. Exactly. Everyone fell silent uh, when a soldier entered the room and let Isaac uh, know that a call had come through the, uh, from the ministry. Excuse me, Mr. President. You, Isaac left the room to answer. A few minutes la later, he entered the room again. His expression had changed. Mr. President, there has been Rimbergen military activity close to the Narval border. Narval border, boys? Let's find out where it is. Over here. It seems they have invaded us, boys. This is an act of war. <laughs> Alright, it seems they have decided to declare war on us. Uh, we're at war with them, officially, boys. They invaded us, so um, we're definitely increasing the budget. Now it's official. I'm increasing the budget big, big time. I'm going to defend my country at all costs. Let's go, boys. Falcon, we should go to the ministry and get further updates from our branches. Understood. Ra uh, raising military readiness is the first call of action. If there is a truly an extraordinary attempt, we will relay it to you immediately and wait for further orders, Mr. President. Make sure they know we are obser uh, observant and ready. Go and show the might of the Swordish uh, Armed Forces. Your service is appreciated. Remain calm. Make sure to not escalate things further. Nobody wants a war. No, fuck that. They want war, they'll get war. Fuck these guys. Let's go. Show them what our Swordish Armed Forces are capable of. Send the reinforcements right away. Ain't nobody gonna invade my country and get away with it, boys. We will, you can be sure of that. Hell, Swordland. Hell. Let's go. They saluted and left the room. Rumberg was already testing us, and the reports from Interior indicate interference inside our borders. Communists, nationalists, bloodish rebels, Rumberg expansionists. What was next? Swordland has uh, had always been a key piece in chess. In, a, in the chessboard of the global rivalry between Arcasia and United Cantona. But in the recent years, there was no such aggression from Rumberg. None of the levels, at these levels at least. All it takes is one tiny spark to start the flames of war. The phone rang. Rumberg has decided to close their consulate in Lachavan. It's official. No more consulate but in Lachavan, it's official. Uh, war has broken out for sure. It's, for, it's official for sure, boys. Uh... I think we're at war. We're probably officially at war with uh, these guys, boys. We'll see what we can do. Uh, first thing uh, we're going to need to do is repel the forces that are going to be at uh, Norbel. Or we're going to need to move some forces from Estort, uh, Levi some forces, send them to Crimstad, uh, Crimsrad right away, uh, and then maybe uh, split the thing in half, go towards there, maybe cut, cut the supply line, split it in half, the other half going to Alfredan. You know, it's doing something like Napoleonic uh, style, boys. We're going to do a lot of stuff right here. All right, so country overview. Let's see what we got. Order. So, security. Members of security apparatus and sort of enjoying excessive privilege. We're trying to... Uh, so, nature, uh, nationwide revolt right now. There are violent protests happening across the country due to recent events. If we don't contain this situation, it will do great harm to our country. Yeah. Diplomacy. Diplomatic pressure. All right, so we got all that, boys. So we got a lot of stuff happening. A lot of instability inside of our own country. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to be able to do. United Condena and helped uh, protesters. Uh, we're going to see what we can do, boys. Uh, we're going to try our best right here, but right now it seems like uh, we're at war with them, probably. So this is really bad news. So infrastructure projects on our side. Uh, gang violence claims young girl's life. Damn, that's not good. Uh, radicals? Tw uh, 1927, never again. I was there when Junior London ran and recur clashed or whatever. Real truth behind economic crisis. We all seen the scenario before. Large corporate businesses time and time again receive money from the government under disguise and helping the economy. Of helping them with you. But what about the people? Like, shut the fuck up, alright? You don't know what you're talking about. Uh, economists underhaul construction once again. So we're beginning basically the whole construction projects and stuff. Uh, geopolitical, Rembert closes consulate. Yeah, we're about to go to war with them, boys. Uh, and the next part would be to... I'm going to read the report. Arcasia develops uh, the first intelligence. Uh, so, develops the first missile. Oh, ballistic missiles from Arcasia, boys. So, uh, Arcasia, I don't know where they are. Is that them? No, that's Blackstab. Well, uh, I don't know where Acacia is exactly, but uh, it seems like they uh, developed their first missile, boys. Alright, so that's pretty much that. 
The next thing would be to have the dinner with my family, which uh, I'm not too sure if I have time for this after uh, the whole war situation, but uh, we'll see why the we'll see how it goes, boys. As you can see, the highways uh, being built, right? So the highways literally being built, as you can see right here, we're uh, building it. It's being in construction right now. There's a highway coming from all these cities right here, connecting all of it, uh, and um, connecting all basically all the cities. It's not connected right here, but they're disconnecting right here so it's been it's being built which is very good boys how much is it gonna take time for uh, for it to be built i'm not sure boys but uh, we'll see so remember uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you didn't enjoy the video see you guys uh, for the next one keep it easy